Hello, I'm Steve Hartman and welcome to First Look. It's Friday and as uh, all of you faithful followers know this is Assignment America tonight and I've got uh, a viewer suggestion that we, we did for this week's story. This is about dog agility. I don't know if you've ever heard of dog agility. I'm sure you know of the Westminster Dog Show. There's nothing like that. This is it's more like the Olympics for dogs. I've do I did a, my first story on this about probably 15 years ago and I was floored by it. But in the last 15 years, the sport has gotten so popular, and these dogs that do this have gotten so amazing that we went to the national finals. So these are the top dogs in all of America competing in basically dog obstacle course. I'm going to show you a little bit of what, uh, what it looks like for those of you who aren't familiar, and for those of you who haven't exactly seen what it's like when truly amazing dogs do this sport. Now these dogs go through this whole course, not just hurdles, but they go over this A-frame thing. The owner's going along there. You can see her. She's in the tie-dye shirt and uh, telling the animal where to go. And as you can tell, it's kind of a sport for middle-aged women. <laughs> um, it's almost all middle-aged women, with some exceptions. But these dogs are you know, impeccably trained, and the people spend, they pretty much devote their whole life to uh, training their dogs to run this course. And uh, see, that dog did a good job. Gets a hug. Actually, all the dogs get get hugs at the end. That's kind of the neat thing about the sport. It's a real nice lesson. So anyway, that's our story for tonight. I've got, uh, I've got dogs that make that dog look, you know, embarrassingly slow. Uh, so be sure and watch if you get a chance. That's tonight on the Evening News.